We're here in the bottling room where over half a million bottles have been produced in the past six months. I particularly like the label art created by Scott Ludorn based on the creative vision of John Leegee. Many of their designs feature elements of our local maritime heritage, which is something Cornell Cooperative Extension's marine program is working hard to preserve. Our marine program has been working towards this goal for the past 30 years and will now introduce you to a gentleman who was there from the beginning, John Scotty. Well, I guess that uh, interest and passion started with being, uh, I lived, was born in Rhode Island, lived on the, in the, around Narragansett Bay. We used to spend summers in, in the beach and on the water and things like along that line. So I guess it started from that, from that experience and that environment, pretty much. And then, you know, grew, grew into, I spent the summer working on a lobster boat in Damascata, Maine, became interested in that and just evolved from that point. It was a confluence of uh, events and people. Um, it started with New York Sea Grant, which I was a, a Sea Grant specialist at the time. Basically Sea Grant recognizing that the, the significance of the fisheries in Suffolk County, Suffolk County government, um, I became um, quite familiar and, and somewhat friendly with some people within Suffolk County government. And lastly, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Suffolk County. Um, the individual there was, a, was Dan Fricke. He was the program extension leader at that time. And frankly, um, you know, his willingness to embrace and, 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 and include the concept of a marine program area within Suffolk County was unique. So basically Suffolk County decided and Cornell Cooperative Extension decided that they wanted to have their own marine extension program. And that's kind of the, the evolution of it, really. It was pretty unique, you know. And, It's just, you know, working with people and in, in, with, with marine interest, providing, and providing a change, bringing about change, bringing about desired change, helping them, facilitating them with research, with education, with, you know, with information and um, advocacy in many ways to accomplish the change that they desire, whether it has to be with the environment or whether it's commercial fishing interests or aquaculture or whatever. It's basically helping about, bring about positive desired change. In terms of Cornell Cooperative Extension, um, it would probably be Bruce Wilkins, who was the head of New York Sea Grant Extension Program at the time um, that I was working with New York Sea Grant. And uh, he, it was his, vi one of his visions and uh, more importantly, uh, willingness to grow the idea of the Sea Grant program and extension work and allow, and allow really the opportunity for me um, and for Suffolk County to have, in essence, its own extension marine program. And from the point of view of, uh, he actually provided some support funding for that move. That's kind of unique because most people in most organizations, you know, want to keep their resources within and see, uh, you know, possibly see, could have seen it as, a, as competition, but he didn't. I don't know if there's any one particular thing. I just think, again, it's the unique, I guess the thing I'd pick out is the unique ability that we've been able to engender through our program activities to result in positive results and change. I think that's the one unique thing I would say. You know, we've been able to continue to do that and obviously issues continue and pop up and change, but our ability to be to be able to respond is is I think somewhat unique, you know. It's right now. It's just seeing where we're at right now and where we've evolved from and, and continuing to evolve. So to be a small part of that um, process, to be right from the get-go, the first, you know, the first part of it in a sense, is uh, kind of a you know, humbling thought, you know, in a way. <laughs> Thanks, John, for all you've done and continue to do for Cornell Cooperative Extension's Marine Program. 
We will bring you more on the history of the Marine Program and the people behind the projects in upcoming shows and continue to feature ways that you could give back to our base.